Ganja is medicine. Ganja is medicine first for me, especially because I grew up with many diseases like asthma and bronchial conditions and so on. And I remember, and my father would tell me like, no, when I'm older that, you know, my grandmother used to set ganja in buckle and tea, like, so I had been introduced. It was in my bloodstream from really early. But, um, but as I grew and I was able to make the conscious decision that, okay, I want to try this medicine. I want to know this thing. I've always felt it. My parents were never like, don't do that. It's a bad thing. Not that they gave it to me, but you know, I never had any demonization in my brain. So when the opportunity came for me to get involved and to try this thing I was so excited and I welcomed the opportunity and I I used to smoke it I used to find a great meditation in crushing it and rolling my sleep and feeling like oh I built a nice one lead the way with Rastafari save the day cause him supply them with the marijuana while the government tell life on the marijuana so it's up to I and I to free the marijuana Rastafari lead the way with the liberty we maintain for years they persecute, I send police to hunt and kill, raid and burn up with farming, and send the youths them go a jail. No hypocrisy presenting itself as good business practice. <laughs> when I went to university and, and I met up with some of my now mentors, like Professor Kalamawi Knife, he introduced me to a different way of using herb, which is with the steam chalice. And when I discovered that instrument, there was just no turning back. And it was beautiful because on the campus, you have calabash tree, you have the thin bamboo, you have the thick bamboo, you had everything you needed. You had clay and you had makers of clay. So you had everything you needed to build your steamers there. So I built several steamers during my time at the university. And I would sit by the fire and really do a lot of contemplation. And there was a lot of reasoning and a lot of spiritual and mental awakening holy for shedding of nothing because herb is herb facilitates that kind of shedding you know and it and i realized that i wasn't getting those particular illnesses anymore and i knew it was related to my use of the herb and so i just continued and then i stopped using i stopped burning it all together and i was just exclusively steaming and i have been doing so for the past close to 15 years now <laughs> You see, burning herb, I mean, if you're going to smoke something, marijuana is the safest thing to smoke because the positive benefits of herb outweigh the negative things that would happen from, you know, the, the process of burning and all of what would come from it. It is repairing while it is doing any potential damage. But steaming the herb with the steam chalice is the highest way that you can use the herb you get the most so like let's say you get 25 percent of the medicine from burning it in a spliff you don't get access to the amount you get with steamers you get probably upward of 75 percent depending on how airtight and properly you build your steamers now this is how you use use a kochi made of clay so you're, you're incorporating all four elements heat air water and earth in this instrument now and these are important things, you know. And when you now apply the herb to this mix, you use a coconut shell, which is the one of the best forms of coal to use. Yeah? Activated carbon, you're talking about. You can eat coconut shell too, you know. But yes, you put that on top of it, and so the fire never actually burns the herb. It is the heat now that heats the clay, and now heats the herb, and you, as you pull, those vapors are cooled by the water. And so it is a much more passive delivery even though the activity that is stimulated is so much higher than just smoke you know and so it is a very efficient way to use the herb especially when you don't want to have to consume a lot of herb it's very very efficient because you're getting more out of the plant and um and yeah it is an ancient way like every indigenous culture has some mechanism whereby they use the four elements to extract medicine from their herbs and with the steamers you can add other fresh herbs to it so you can pick your rosemary your peppermint your citrus thyme even garlic you know and put a little piece of it roll it up in your herb and drop it in your kochi and get the benefits of all of these herbs with that you can even steam other things other than marijuana in it so you can just put rosemary and garlic alone in there and steam it if that is what you need to use to activate you know and and yeah it's a it is a it is an instrument you know it is a medicinal instrument designed to you know and also it is a meditative instrument 
So we all understand that the breath is life. Yeah, we know the creatures in, in Irish and that live the longest are those who take the longest breaths. So that is what it encourages also because you increase your lung capacity because you have to be able to breathe deeply in order to keep the fire burning. So learning how to breathe from the depths of your diaphragm, you know, filling up your lungs, holding it. This is, this is, these are benefits you get from using a steam chalice. So yeah, it's something that everybody must use. Everybody must use it, yeah, to get their medicine. I don't have any views on this legalization, you know. I'm just watching this thing. I'm just really happy right now that they are no longer persecuting the youths and giving them a police criminal record for possession of marijuana. And I'm also glad that no, nobody can have trouble with my steamers. I've lost a few steamers to the police over the years. You know, so it's really good to know that, yeah, the, the heavy persecution has moved. In terms of legislation and where the government will take it and how much they're going to free up and who's going to get access to do the farming and make use of it like i have no faith in this government and nothing personal i have no faith in any government i believe in self-government i believe in self-reliance and so i am not looking for any assistance with this herb thing yeah you have now the opportunity to grow up to what five or six plants in your home everybody needs to do that everybody needs to cultivate a relationship with with this herb with all herbs with food yeah, because you can't believe in a supermarket and these things either because when when them stop importing and when some drama reach with some other country or whatever you are going to need to make sure that you can still eat so we need to be teaching the youths about agriculture from early cultivating a relationship where the pity them know so them for go to the door go pick things pick your callaloo understand the difference know what you can eat and what you must eat what herbs are good for what that is where information and knowledge need to take us yeah so the discussion is not about legalization the discussion is about education